Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, a.k.a. Redbeard. So, uh, today, I'm going to review a bottle that I almost forgot about. I got this one mm, over a year ago. Um, this is Michter's Limited Release Barrel Strength Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. I got this one in a batch of others that I bought in bulk from a private collector. Uh, this is barrel number 16D419. So this was bottled in 2016. D I believe is the month. Uh, maybe. Shit, I don't know. Anyway, it's been in the bottle for shit close to three years. So. Uh, this one's bottled at 114 proof, barrel strength, single barrel. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a review. I hear Bonnie barking in the background. Who knows what it could be at? A neighbor? A squirrel? A what? Mmm. It's got a very nice nose on it. Mm, oaky. Touch of cinnamon. It almost smells like a rye heavy bourbon. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. I mean, it's very spicy, obviously, but the flavors on it are quite tremendous. Uh, I think I've been sleeping on this one, as they say. Don't sleep on it. Uh, man, that's really good. I think I'm going to have to uh, investigate some more uh, Mictors. After that Mictors 10-year scored so well, this one's going to score really well as well. <clears throat> That's pretty damn good. Uh, I got this dark chocolate dark chocolatey toffee note with like some caramel on the back end and I get for me personally whenever I drink rye whiskey I get this dark chocolate note but this one is so faint probably because of the, the strength of the ABV but I mean this is freaking delicious this is probably one of the best ryes I've ever had um uh, kind of upset that I've been sitting on it so long. <laughs> See, after a couple pulls on it, it starts to smooth out. No. <laughs> uh, like that third little sip, uh, third or fourth little sip. I mean, I still get the heat from the alcohol, but all that spice is kind of washed away, and it's just, it's just pretty. Warm it up. Got to warm it up. Warm it up. Wow. Uh, yeah, now it's all just spice in the mouth. Like black pepper and cinnamon. I'm going to have to try out some other Michter's. I mean, I, I've had the uh, Michter's bourbon. The small batch. Didn't really care for it too much. But that 10-year. 
man, that one changed my mind. This one's going to change my mind. Now it's just all cinnamon. <coughs> Almost inhaled it. <coughs> Yeah, it's super chocolatey on the finish. That's pretty damn good. Mm-hmm. The uh, the website said it's the normally bottle it. Uh, this was first released in 2015, so this is probably third or fourth batch they did, maybe. Um, and it's supposed to be bare or bottled between 107 and 112 proof. But this one's 114, so it's a little higher. But yeah, that's pretty good. I'm gonna have to give it a pretty high score. Um, man, I don't even remember how much this one costs. I think it's fairly expensive, around seventy dollars. But for a barrel-proof rye with this amount of flavor, man, I'd probably buy it again. I'm leaning at a nine. It's gonna be a hard nine for me. That's what she said. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give it nine points. Solid nine. That is a damn fine whiskey. And I feel ashamed I haven't done it, but you know what? If I'd have did it a year ago, uh, not many people would have saw it. So hopefully everybody gets to see it now. But yeah, nine points, solid. That's pretty freaking good. And this is, just to reiterate, this is batch 16D419. So, <clears throat> if you see it on the shelves, pick it up. It tastes good. It's really good. Um, but that's all I got. Uh, don't forget, check out the Bearded Idiots. Um, here pretty soon, we were approached. Well, I'm not even going to talk about it yet. Until it's finalized. Until it's finalized. So, it has to do with coffee. So... If you like coffee stay tuned um, hopefully we'll have something work some kind of deal worked up pretty soon uh, but don't forget check out the bearded idiots i got links in the header on my home page i got links in my description uh, i have some uh, thoughts on my patreon so maybe keep an eye on that if you are a patron i've got some ideas and i might try to help me get more patrons so Stay tuned with all that. Hey, Bonnie. Where you been? Who you barking at, huh? Who you barking at? Where you barking at, huh? Barking at nobody. So, like always, drink some whiskey. Share it with your friends and family. And have a nice day. Take care, folks.